and we are live. Hey guys, we're doing some cool stuff today. I'm going to move the camera. It's still at your All right, credit. here's me and Flash. We're going to show you some activities today. Uh, I hope you've been doing well and you've been able to find things to do with your kids. I've been posting different videos, um, posting them mostly on YouTube and then providing links on Facebook. We're going to do a couple activities today. We've had to practice them and you'll see why in a minute. Now, not everybody has a ladder in their house, an agility ladder, so you can use ropes. You can go to Lowe's, Tractor Supply, Home Depot, and you can get ropes um, and cut them into short lengths. You can use chalk on the driveway. Um, these are some ropes that I have. These might be a little too long for inside today. <clears throat> but we're going to kind of show you some things you can do <clears throat> with lines and maybe the agility ladder. What Cameron is going to do <clears throat> is use his imagination. He's going to find creative ways to move down the ladder. We've hopped. We've done hopscotch. So he's going to he's going to show you some creative ways to go down the ladder. Ready? Yeah. All right, go. There you go. What we're trying to do is just go down the ladder without touching it. And it might be kind of hard to stay within the within the squares. There you go. Keep going. You're going to go back? Yeah. Go. Probably. All right. What's another way you can do it? Um. Kind of a march, march run or skipping. All right. What else? How else? Can you go down on your hands and toes? Can you get it? Hands and toes. Oh, you're walking on it. Well, you can do that. There's no wrong way to do this. Try not to touch the floor. Oh, no. try not to touch the floor. Okay, <laughs> I see. How else can you do? Can you do that only on the yellow? Can you can you tiptoe on the yellow? That's easy. There you go. That's one way. Ouch. That hurt. <laughs> right, how, how else can you go? All right, so this is just a quick idea, getting the kids to use their imagination, finding ways to move up and down the ladder. If your kids have done sports and they brought out an agility ladder, there's really a lot of things that you can do with that. But you can also, I'm going to pick this up. You can also put down ropes um, in a line. Traffic. Got it? Yeah. Is that poopers? Just lay it on the couch. These are a little bit long in here. But you can do this kind of the same thing. Can we do that quick Cart, thing we have to Cartwheels, not today. Cartwheels, hopping, maybe just walking on the ropes. Balancing. Yeah. Jumping on the ropes. Now he's in his bare feet, so these kind of hurt a little bit. Really? Yeah. Okay, All right, so that's just uh, an, an idea of something you can do with an agility ladder, ropes, chalk. <laughs> um, there's a game that he likes to do called um, Jump the Creek. I've shown you that before, where you just run and jump as far as you can. All right, now we're going to do a math game. And we've practiced this, so I don't know how it will go. But you're going to do jumping jacks. You ready? Yeah. Can I and then faster? I'm going to hold up so many fingers, and he has to tell me how many numbers I'm holding up before I tell him how many numbers or fingers he's holding up. You can make this a lot harder by counting the numbers of everyone's fingers and who can come up with a number. If you have older kids that are have higher math skills, you can count everybody's fingers and come up. With, with the whole number, but for younger ones, um, you hold up your fingers and they have to tell you your number before um, they tell you their number. You ready to yeah. try that? Yeah. I have to tell you your number before you tell me my number. Okay. You ready? I'm the master. Go. All right, go. Go. Stop. Get two, four. <laughs> You gotta hold your fingers still so I can count them. <laughs> All right, get up. Did you so have he, he got four. All right, ready? Again. Yeah. Go. I'm the master. One, go. Stop. Five, four. Three. Six. 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 
Six. Okay, you got six. it. Six. You got it. Six. Six. Okay, you got it. Good job. Now, <laughs> if they don't hold their hand, their hand still, it's kind of hard to come. But you get the idea. Um, you can have your kids play against each other. You can do that with your kids. But um, two activity ideas for the day. Try them out. Um, moving in space, cartwheels, hopping, crawling, just try a variety of things that you can do. Or, um, I showed you that, I've got one for you. You ready? Yeah. All right, how many feet are on the ground right now? Two. All right, so uh, find a way to put two parts of your body on the ground, not your feet. Two parts of your body, that's four. Two feet, two knees. Holy cow. How do you get four? See, I'll give you an idea. What do you mean? Two. One, yeah. two. All right, got it? Yeah. All right, try three parts of your body. Three parts. Two, like two feet, one hand. There you go. All right, two feet, one hand. Two feet, one hand. Oh, <laughs> come on! <laughs> no. <laughs> two feet, one hand. Put both feet down. There you go. All right, good. So call out a variety of things. See how many different parts of their body. How about, it? can you stand on... Um, just one foot. All right, and you don't have to say feet or hands. You can just say parts of your bodies because you have elbows, gluteus maximus, knees. Stop, stop. All right, have a great day. I hope you can do these with your kids and have fun with it. Thank you.